So this is where I'm at so far with the, uh, the scene. And I want to create the ceiling panels now. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to bring in a plane. And I think what, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to get, I think, six of them across, as you can see here. So let's come in and let's put an edge loop there and an edge loop there. And let's get rid of these ones here. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to switch this to snap to edge. And I'm just going to bring it down here. And let's see how this would go. Let's just bring it up roughly up there. And we're going to there, snap it. Let me just actually turn that on. And snap, snap to there. Eh? I should turn off and on. Snap to there. And snap to snap to there so let's say that was my my plane and then let's just see what it's like if i just shift d uh, i could alt d but i don't really need to let's grab two of them now and snap those two more should be the perfect fit Okay, so it looks like it's going to be six, like that. Now, if I have a look at these, they're not facing the right direction. So I'm going to take this and, and alt and flip. And I don't care about these other ones right now. We can get rid of those. And we just have the one that we need. This piece right here. Now, I'm going to create, uh, bring everything back, and create a new collection here. And we're going to call this ceiling. And it will be composed of ceiling tiles all the way through. So it'll be quite a lot of tiles. Um, but that's that's okay. So now I'm just going to focus on that. And um, now it faces down right now. But what I'm going to do is it's easier to texture if it's actually facing the other way. So I'm going to do that so that the bottom is red and the top is blue. It's just going to be a single plane like that. And looking down from the top and then selecting, I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to pull it a little ways to make a border. Now just keep in mind that two of these are going to be side by side. So I don't need to make the border too, too, too uh, wide. So with that selected, I'm going to control E, mark seam. All right, I'm going to come over to UV editing and just focus on that. There we go. And I'm going to select it. Let's get rid of that. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to press U, and I'm going to project from view, and it'll fill the whole space. So I put this in here so it's easier for Substance Painter to pick out an area that I want to work on. So that's going to be my ceiling tile right there. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to export that as an FBX. All right, so I brought that into Substance Painter, and I can see the top here. Uh, as opposed to the bottom it's and it's lighter instead of working on the bottom which is going to be the visible side it's just easier to work on the top and then just flip them later on all right so right off the bat i'm going to call this ceiling tile and we are going to get started on texturing this um i don't think i need to bake any mesh maps there's no real curvature or anything here so i'm going to create a fill layer and I'm going to get rid of the metal and the normal and the roughness I'm going to bring up to maybe around three quarters. I'll leave the height. I don't really even really need height on this one. And the color I'm just going to drop down to around mid gray. And that is going to be the border. All right. The next thing is going to be to delineate the actual tile itself. So create a fill layer. Uh, I don't need metal or normal. Roughness, again, I'll just bring it up to around there. Height, I'm going to bring all the way up. And base color, I'll leave it as this off-white color. I'm going to add a black mask. And I'm going to select this area here where I want it. And I'm going to add a uh, fill. And in the fill, I'm going to add the tile generator like that. I'll bring up the position like this. 
I'm going to change this to square. I'm going to bring down the scale a little bit. And then in the pattern transformation, I'm going to make this one in the X and one in the Y. So I now have my tile. It's got some height. On top of this, I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to add the blur filter, no, I'm sorry, the bevel filter. And I'm going to bring this up to about 0 0.06. And I'm going to add some smoothing to it. So we'll get this overall uh, look to it. All right. I'm going to call this tile generator. And we're going to leave it at that. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to put a pattern on here. So I'm going to create another fill. This one is just going to be height. And I think I will drop it all the way. We'll try that. Uh, whether or not any roughness, I'm not sure. I'm going to add a black mask. And it's going to be this area here of the tile generator. And I'm going to put this in a folder and add a black mask to that and select that area. And this is going to be, we'll call this pattern. And I'm going to drag this under here into the folder. And I've just clicked on the black mask. I know it looks white, but it's a black mask. I'm going to choose fill and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search for cells four. And I'm going to get them just in the tile area there. All right. And really all I want to do here is drag the scale. I'm going to drag the scale all the way up. You can play with disorder if you want. And that is the effect I'm going for right there. I might just try with roughness. Let's see if I bring the roughness up. Uh, I'm not getting much of a difference, but, uh, but that's, that is the tile right there. I'm just going to change that to, to see. Okay, so that's sort of like my stucco pattern of tile. All right, so let's say I'm happy with that. I'm going to export the textures. I'll choose this. I'm going to get rid of this mesh part here. It just makes the naming part easier to find. So my kids are playing in the background. So I'm doing this uh, video a little bit earlier than I usually do. And here I'm going to change this from DirectX to OpenGL. I'm just going to drag that in and do that. All right. So I'm going to switch this to uh, Metal Roughness. And this is going to be not Export Corridor, but uh, Texture Corridor there. And it's called Ceiling Tile. That's good. So I'll do that. You can see the names here, Ceiling Tile. So I like that. Let's go back to Blender now and to the Shading tab. And do I have that tile anywhere in there? Let's, okay, we'll bring that back. Let's actually, how about we focus on the tile, the wall, and that's good enough, just like that. Okay, so take that and I'll focus on that. Now, that is probably flipped, right? We, we flipped it. So yeah, so I'm going to take that. No, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it like that and we'll put the material on. So I'm going to call this ceiling tile and shift control T and let's find it ceiling tile. And there it is. So it's, it depends on the lighting for this to to in order to see it but what i'm going to do now is let's come back to layout i'll bring stuff back maybe we can fo focus just on that stuff and uh let's take this and let's just flip the whole tile let's rotate x 180 and there there's the tile there all right and i'll, I'll do a couple of them. So I'm just going to take this shift D, pull it out and snap it. The only thing we got to be careful that it snaps right. That looks good. So let's take that. Let's just, we'll just do a little bit of this. Okay. Oh, no, not there. So that should come pretty much all the way. 
I'm going to take this and make sure that's all in the ceiling. Yeah, it is. I'll do a couple more rows here so we get a better idea of how, what this looks like. Do that. I'm going to come back this way. And then, of course, I would need to take these and extend it down this way. another lighting all right so without you know all the proper lighting uh, it's not going to be very easy to see this it gives you another just view of the general the general structure of those tiles all right so what I would do is I would uh, populate these tiles all across uh, the ceiling. So I'll just do that and I'll quickly show you that. So all of the tiles are now placed and you can see that it's approximately six tiles across and that continues all the way down to the end. All right and once I get some lights in there hopefully this will appear uh, a little more uh, realistic and that is going to be it all right the next thing we're going to do in the next video is we're going to work on the floor and i'm going to have approximately 12 tiles so i'm going to be cutting a tile this size and creating a floor pattern all right great so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time